Today, we're going to be using Blender to turn this boring TikTok logo into an awesome 3D render. To do this, we're going to be using a vectorized image. If you head over to flaticon.com, there's plenty of images you can use there. When you find an image you like, make sure to download the SVG file, as this is a vector image. Once it's downloaded, we're ready to head into Blender. In order to bring in our SVG file, we need to enable a certain add-on. So, head over to Preferences, Add-ons, and search for SVG. Enable this add-on here. To bring in our SVG, head to File, Import, and select Scalable Vector Graphics. Hopefully it'll import as a set of Bezier curves and will have retained its colors. You'll probably need to rotate it 90 degrees so that it's standing upright and also line it up with the origin. I want my environment to be completely dark, so head over to the World Settings and set its strength to zero. Now it's time to start extruding our Bezier curves so that we can give them some thickness. Inside the Bezier curve settings, open up the Geometry tab and start messing around with the extrusion. I decided to go for an effect where the middle section was extruded further out than the edges. Now let's have a bit of fun with the materials. Honestly, you can assign any materials you'd like. Click the Use Nodes button here in the Material tab to give you access to Blender shaders. I decided to give this middle section an emission shader so that it would produce light, setting its strength to 5. For the red section of the logo, I copied the initial colour hex value and then pasted it onto a glass BSDF texture. After repeating this process for the blue side as well, we end up with this. But we're not quite there yet. First we need to bring in a camera so that we can start setting up our scene properly. Once you've found a camera angle that you like, bring in a ground plane. I kept its material as a principled BSDF, but set its colour to black and made it very metallic. You can mess around with its roughness to give different kind of effects. I then made a bunch of duplicates and scattered them around in the background to give this kind of depth of field effect. In the camera settings tab under depth of field, you can change the f-stop value to adjust how strong this depth of field effect is. And this is what I ended up with as my final render. Honestly, you could do this with any other logo, it doesn't have to just be the TikTok logo. Uh, I hope you've learned something and thanks to Polyfjord for kind of teaching me this technique. I've linked his in-depth tutorial down below if you want to go and watch that, I really recommend you check it out. And uh, that's about it, thanks for watching, see you in the next one.